Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? I am back here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for another construction update. The main thing that we see here is more theming elements and basically queue line structures going in. We can see the main queue structure going in right there. Um, I, me and a lot of other people were definitely worried um, because the animation didn't have any sort of shade structure over this section of the queue line. Don't worry guys, there is going to be a shade structure as uh, evident right here. So yeah, there will be a shade structure there. You won't be just sitting in the hot sun. Um, I would not be surprised if they make it some sort of mesh, something like Superman's where it does still provide plenty of shade, um, but you can kind of see through it just a little bit. Um, that allows, you know, you to be able to see all of the, you know, the drop and all of the other elements um, that are that are in here as you're waiting in line, which is super, super cool. But definitely we just see um, it evident that really this, this coaster is coming to uh, an end um, in terms of its construction period. Um, you know, all of the buildings are starting to get painted. Um, the, you know, last touches are, are being put on in terms of the shade structure. Um, you know, kind of the last leg of construction itself is, is basically happening right now. So yeah, super, super exciting guys. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to join back up with you guys on the other side so that we can go see the um, actual station building itself um, and also talk about the trains and testing schedule as that is something that I have an update on in terms of when testing will start. Well, I have received a nice surprise. Hello. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Here's a nice up close look at one of the train cars here for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. This is, um, I know that there's different train colors. The issue is I don't know what, like what spot the colors are going off of. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but that's okay. Uh, also, I'm like red, green color blind, so. That's also a little bit of an L, but anyways, here is one of the uh, cars here for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Yeah, looks super nice, spick and span. Um, yeah, they, these things look honestly amazing. This is, of course, the front car, as evident by the little stoppers right here, and also the fact that Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger is nicely plopped onto the front there. If we kind of sneak on over here, we can see that the station building and break run kind of house is really starting to get plopped in. Um, yeah, you can, you know, uh, again, really you can see uh, all of the, you know, scaffolding and everything going up or the, the beams, the support beams basically going up um, for this new, uh, for this Q house. Um, or the, the station building, sorry. Um, yeah, it, it looks really, really cool. Sorry, I'm like totally stumbling with my words. This is this is really cool. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, the station building is really almost done um, in terms of like the structural uh, section of it. All they have to do is, you know, add kind of the roofing, uh, the roof tiles and um, any extra theming that they're going to add. You know, obviously it's got not just going to have these little wooden stakes in there. They'll be painted and, you know, probably with some theming on there as well. So uh, really all they have to do is kind of just add the you know, the actual aesthetic elements, but in terms of just the structural pieces, most of everything is complete, um, which means that they will be able to start testing soon. Now, here is my update on that. They are currently starting to bring, as evidenced by one being right here in this giant forklift, they are starting to bring some of the trains over here to be placed in the storage shed and they're in onto the track. Um, actually, we can see even one train fully already on the track in that storage shed. There you go. Using my hand to block out the sun, but that is super, super cool. Um, we already see that here. Wow. Let me like, let me like kind of get a, go a little bit of a, a thumbnail there. See how I can, there you go. Bam. 
Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So already we see a um, train already in the storage shed on the track, ready to go. Now, um, B&M has to do something with their coasters called a commencement process. Um, I was talking to Jeffrey about it today, actually. I was lucky enough to see him during my lunch break. Um, but we were talking about it, and basically what it is um, is after they are able to get the trains over here in the storage shed, they basically just have to do a whole bunch of little sensor tests. Um, they have to first start up the lift hill. The lift hill is then going to just start running. Um, they have to basically just run the lift hill a whole bunch. Um, as if you've noticed from other rides, the lift hill kind of constantly runs at a very slow speed. Um, They're basically just going to have it run at that slow speed all day for a couple of days um, just to make sure that the lift motor um, is able to warm up um, and get ready to support the weight of these heavy trains. Um, in addition, of course, they're going to, you know, test the varying speeds of the lift hill. Um, they're going to literally put the trains on the track and push them. Um, literally, they're going to push them um, into different spots in order to make sure that all of these proximity sensors are working. Uh, this is just a really small thing, but you do see they have started to put the proximity sensors on the track. Um, I don't believe that those were there last time. Um, I remember, especially over here, those proximity sensors definitely were not there last time. Proximity sensor right in there, right in there. Um, those definitely were not on the track last time I was here. So proximity sensors are set up. They're going to start doing all of the programming and everything. And in order to do said programming, they basically just need to like push the trains and make sure that, you know, they are programming everything right before they actually start to test this thing. Um, Cause if something goes wrong at 60 something miles per hour, um, then you know, that's a lot more of an issue than if you push a push a train at like one or two miles an hour in the set and then you realize, oh snap, I did something wrong in my coding and this this sensor didn't actually switch properly. Um, so, you know, that's that's kind of the that's kind of the idea there, which totally makes sense. Um, but getting off of that, that will be going on for about two weeks before we actually see you trains completely completing the circuit um, in terms of testing. So they're basically going to plop them on the track, push them around on these brake runs, things along those lines before they actually start, you know, uh, dispatching these trains and, and getting them going. Uh, whenever that happens, that process is a lot shorter um, as they do definitely have to meet a certain cycle requirement um, without anything, you know, without any faulty, um, you know, faulty sensors or anything like that. Um, I know for yearly maintenance, it's at least 50 cycles empty. Um, after they've, of course, like inspected all of the stuff, they have to run 50 cycles without um, any sensor issues. Um, I'm pretty sure for just newly opened rides, it's probably double or triple that if I just had to guess. So um, there's a lot of testing that goes on, but um, I mean, just to give you guys a comparison, we hit 100 cycles with one train at Iron Rattler today. Um, so, you know, uh, and, and the park is only open until six. So um, definitely it will not be very hard for them to hit that cycle requirement relatively quickly. Um, and yeah, overall, Super, super excited to see these trains on the track. Super, super excited um, to, you know, see that commencement process start, or sorry, commission, commission process? Commencement? I don't know, one of the two. I'm um, excited to see that start up. And yeah, now, this is kind of just for you, you nerds out there, um, but <laughs> something that I am a little bit confused about is um, the way that they are going to get the trains from the regular track Okay, let me block out the sun again from the regular track over there to the storage shed um, a lot of rides have a little section of brake run that is able to basically slide over um, in order to plop stuff in the storage shed i don't really see actually lies i believe it's that last little section of brake run that little holding brake right there yep 100 percent it is i see that because there's a little panel panel little little thing right there um, and that's what allows maintenance to slide that thing over. Okay, then there you go. Um, I was a little bit confused by that 
for a while now. So I'm glad that I got to clarify that for myself. Um, but anyways, again, Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Everything is really looking good for this ride. I would say a lot of people are saying like, when is it opening? I would say expect an opening late June to early July. Um, and that's just if I had to, you know, put put a best estimate in there. Um, there was kind of a leaked date um, that said June 25th for the start of previews. Um, if you saw my Instagram, I did post that. And then later I kind of, you know, re, um, backtracked on myself as I saw uh, Jeffrey Siebert's post that he made very shortly after, um, just saying, hey, at this time we do not actually have a um, estimated opening date, um, but stay tuned as we should pretty, pretty soon. So as soon as I have that, I will post it up on Instagram. So follow me at theme park update YT um, there. And yeah, overall, super excited for this ride. Um, I should be able to do you know, kind of daily construction updates on my Instagram. Um, and then I'll just, you know, just like pictures and small stories and things like that. But if you really want in-depth things like this, then definitely subscribe, like the video, because um, I will still be doing these every week, if not even more, um, especially once this, this um, you know, testing process starts to arise so so again super excited for this ride super excited to see it really blossoming and excited to see it continue to be developed anyways guys thank you so much for watching these videos i hope you guys enjoyed this and again subscribe for more coming very soon i'll see you guys all next time peace out bye guys